Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are grumbling out on some Middle Eastern food. I've never had Middle Eastern food, so we're gonna try it together. I just finished uh, like my morning workout. Not morning, yeah, because it's 12 o'clock now. So uh, yeah, I got a little bit of uh, I got a Waterloo lemon lime. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Fan Bam Lovey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification. <gasps> Enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get down to nitty gritty. So yeah, that is why I look like a hot ass mess. Like sports were on and everything, honey. It's so nice today. Oh, that I was like, you know what? Let me go for a jog, walk, whatever in um in a nice park that I found. So in California. So we're having, this place is called Nana Good Eats and it was around here and they had really good reviews. So I got, this is puffed pickles. I'm assuming this is it because it's light up. Yeah, this is the puffed pickles with a Nana sauce. Nana, Nana. So this is how they look. So it's literally fried pickles. Fried pickles. And this sauce is like a, I don't know. It said minty, many. Okay. Wow, they're pickles. Have so much flavor. Mm. Wow. They look like wedges. Um, uh, I don't know what's in the sauce, but. It's good stuff. I've never had Middle Eastern food before, but I know they eat a lot of like pickled stuff, and I'm here for it. It's bomb. I'm gonna give the puffed pickles. A nine out of ten. I would definitely get that again. Let me open this. I'm so thirsty. Whoa. So how are my loveys doing? If I sound sick, it's not because I'm sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? I thought I was sick. Um, hold on, I want one more pickle because this shit is hitting. Um, I thought I was sick. Um, started last week, I think Thursday or Wednesday. Like, I couldn't. smell or taste anything and why there was only one video last week because when I can't smell or taste anything I hate eating there's no point in eating to me I know everyone's like the nutrients the nutrients but Okay, 
before I guess continue the story, I also got a <clears throat> chicken shawarma pita, mild spice level, and I got it customized. So I got uh, baba ganoush, red cabbage salad, pickles, katan katan salad. And I got the tahini sauce and the nana sauce. Don't ask me what any of it is because I have absolutely no idea. If you are Middle Eastern, please feel free to comment. Whoa. All I know is this is a heavy ass salad. I mean, sandwich. Let me see. Okay, so this is how it looks. It looks pretty. Can you guys see? It looks pretty. It looks very neat. It's like a pita. It's a pita sandwich. So, and they cut it in the middle. Mm -hmm. I ain't got any chicken in that bite. Where the chicken at? Okay. I like it. It's like Middle Eastern food it has a lot of spices, like they cook with a lot of flavor which love it so <clears throat> let me see if i can take a piece of chicken shawarma is like grilled chicken and they marinate it in their seasoning but it's pretty damn good to me It's very fresh, like the salads they put in there are so fresh, which mm -hmm. the red cabbage is like pickled, um, then I just put their pickles in there, which can't go wrong, they're what is it? Katan Katan salad? I don't know what it is. Mm, yeah. Katan Katan salad. I don't know. I guess it has like tomatoes and stuff like that. But the ganoush is like, um, it's like a spread. Like a, I think it's like garlic and something. If I'm getting this wrong, I'm so sorry guys. I'm just going off of what I remember from the website. And this is my first time having this place. This is my first time having Middle Eastern food, but I'm I'm a good lid. Of course I would dirty myself. This shawarma pita. I would give it a 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's pretty damn good. Excuse me. And it's really stuffed. Like, I don't want to spill. Look how fat. Mm hmm. I thought I was sick. I thought I had COVID because I couldn't smell or taste anything. And just my whole head was like congested. I had a lot of like coughing. Um, 
a lot of mucus. TMI. A lot of them. Um, my head hurts so bad. Whatever. Turns out wasn't COVID. It was just really bad allergies. Like my allergies this year have been crazy. I know a lot of other people it's been crazy too because I had to go to Target to get Claritin decongestion because the regular allergy pills I have were not working. So they told me just go to go get the decongestion one. So I go to Target and the freaking allergy aisle, allergy medicine aisle, ridiculous. And there were so many people there getting allergy medicine. And then a decongestion one, apparently you got to get it like from the behind the pharmacy because they have to like scan your ID or something. Pharmacy line was crazy. Ended up taking it. And thank God it's helped. But I still sound like, I still sound sick. Like my ears are still a little clogged. Definitely still have like, you know, a lot of boogers, but at least it's coming out now. Before it was like my nose was like stuff I could taste again. And I have like slight like what is it a sinus headache but excuse me thank god it was like nothing how it was before because I couldn't even sleep that's how bad it was and I was getting and it, when my sleep gets affected I am the moodiest person ever like it's not even funny like stay away from me I need another napkin. But. Holy shit, this shit is huge. So. Yeah. And. Last week, I also. <laughs> started taking Paragard which if you guys don't know it's a deworm it's to get the parasites out of your body um and I just felt like I had to do it because I eat a lot of um raw fish I eat a lot of sushi I eat um, lox like on my bagels and stuff. That's my new thing I've been eating. And my stomach just didn't feel right after last Sunday. Um, I ate like a bagel with lox and it just, my tummy really, really hurt. It was killing me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stop eating raw fish for a little bit and let me do this Paragard and let me cleanse, you know, my body because you know shuddy over here is like working out and doing stuff like that so i want to like you know really cleanse everything and i've been saying so i've been on paraguard i've which three times a day um they're like i take the pills not the liquid because the liquid is horrendous Um, two activated charcoal pills a night 
which if you do a power guard i recommend you taking the activated charcoal because the parasites once they like they're dying in you you have to get them like out of your system and a lot of people don't take the activated charcoal and then they have like really bad side effects like nausea some people have really bad gas pains that they say they feel like they're having a heart attack um um yeah so activated charcoal and i have to say i feel i feel so much better i don't get like hunger pains as much um my stomach is definitely less bloated i've noticed that it's not as big like swollen you know what i'm saying like even my sister told me like oh my god your stomach looks so much better like um and i get like fuller quicker um it's not a dietary supplement don't get me wrong it's just like cleansing of what i know what my sister told me parasites is what makes you get those hunger pains because they're like eating all the stuff in you or whatever um and everybody has parasites whoever says they don't have parasites in them is lying because your body naturally develops them no matter what you eat you don't got to eat sushi to, to get parasites <clears throat> excuse moi um so yeah it's not like i'm gonna stay on it forever um it's you could do either 10 days or 30 days and i I think I'm gonna do the 30 days because I haven't been having anything like I haven't had no bad side effects you know like they've actually it's actually been pretty good um, so, mm. I would definitely 10 out of 10 recommend it. I bought all the stuff. Everything that I'm taking. Oh, and I'm also taking a probiotic. Um, and I bought all of it off of Amazon. So I'll put it in my Amazon storefront. If you guys don't know, I do have an Amazon storefront. The link is down in the description below. So all the stuff will be on there. It's a, it's the Paragard, it's the activated charcoal, and it is the probiotic that I'm taking. This sandwich is huge. Okay. I will definitely, I'm trying to not make this messy. I'll save that for Zinzin. these puff pickles here mom I would definitely get Middle Eastern food again because it was I'm gonna save these for later too It was, it tasted so fresh. Like, um, like, you know, like not like heavy. That's what I mean by fresh. All right, my lovies. Don't forget, give this video two big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fan bam. 
And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. Peace.